Welcome. Let's talk about the issue of rationalizing the denominator. What do I mean by this? Suppose you're going through a standardized test and you're answering one of the questions and you do some calculations and you come up with the final answer 1 over the square root of 2, say. And then you look at the choices A, B, C or D and you don't see your answer there anywhere. What's going on? Well, in our society, we tell students that square roots in the denominator of a fraction are unacceptable. I'll tell you why we do that in a moment. Um, it's for silly reasons. But here it goes. We say square roots in the denominator are bad. We ask kids to rationalize the denominator instead. That is, in any fraction, you may multiply the numerator and denominator by any number you wish. It won't change the fraction. So let's choose multiplying the top by the square root of 2 and the bottom by the square root of 2. Uh, that hasn't changed the fraction. 1 times root 2 on the top is root 2. Root 2 times root 2 on the bottom is 2. That, I bet, you'll find on your standardized test as one of the options to choose from. So for some reason, we like to say square roots on the top, fine and good. Square roots on the bottom, bad. It's for very silly reasons. And let me reveal the truth about it. It's not a mathematical reason. It's a style reason. Well, an old style reason. When in my day, we had no calculators. And if I came up with the answer 1 over the square root of 2, what I had to do as a young student was look at my table of values. These were little booklets we were given out had all the square roots listed to three decimal places, all the cube roots listed to three decimal places, all the sines, all the cosines, and so forth. So I'd have to go to the tables and look up the square root of 2. And I'd say square root of 2 is about 1.414. So if I actually needed to work this out as a decimal, I'd have to do this by hand. I'd have to go 1.00000 forever, divided by 1.414. And off I go on a horrendous long division problem. It would take me a while. So they taught kids back in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and, and in my case back in Australia, early 80s, that, hang on, hang on, let's rewrite this as square root of 2 over 2. Let's put this, the awkward number on the top. Then this becomes a very easy division problem. It's 1.414 divided by 2. So it's basically 14 and 14. I can see right now the answer is 0.707 to three decimal places. Therefore, for practical reasons, without the aid of a calculator, working out 1 over root 2 by hand is a pain, but working out square root of 2 divided by 2 is actually not bad. So it became the law. Always write your answers with square roots in the top line so that when you actually need to work it out as a decimal and look up your tables of values, you can do it with greater ease. But then along came the calculator in the 80s and 90s. So the need for putting square roots on the top is out the window. A kid on a calculator can go 1 divided by square root of 2 just as easily as she can go root 2 divided by 2. In fact, I suggest we leave it this way. That's no more complicated than before. The mathematics does not care where that square root is assigned. 1 over root 2 is a perfectly valid number. But we are stuck in a rut that what became a habit from the early to, mid to late 1900s is still the law for no reason that people can really justify. And then we give kids very strange questions to this day. For example, we might say to them, simplify the square root of 2 over root 15. And notice I use the word simplify. This is a very subjective term. Simplify, make it look simpler. Maybe it looks fine as it is. But what we expect kids to do is multiply the top and bottom by root 15 and get 2 times root 15 on the top and root 15 times root 15 on the bottom. And voila! There is the allegedly simplified answer. Tell me, which actually looks simpler to you? This has got more symbols in it. It actually looks more complicated. To me, someone said to me, simplify 2 over root 15 and say, done, leave as it is. But that's just me. All right, thanks very much.